Good morning. This is Newton Food Center, one of the most popular hawker centers in all of Singapore. Pretty centrally located. Right now, it's about 7 a.m. Let's grab some breakfast. Just realized, I haven't really had a nasi lemak since coming to Singapore. And this is definitely one of my favorite things to eat in this country. Sambal, crispy little tiny anchovies, perfectly runny gooey egg, fried chicken over fragrant rice. I think the first time I had this dish, my mind almost exploded. Mm. Mm. This place does this so well here. Just the rice itself is so aromatic and coconutty. Mm. I'm already getting a little crunch from the crispy anchovies. The sambal is really the heart and soul of this dish. Savory, spicy with a umami punch. This definitely just came out of the fryer too. Crispy skin, nice and juicy. Sambal on there as well. On the eggs too. Mm. It's one of my favorite dishes because there's so many different flavors and textures. You got the crispy fried chicken, the gooey velvety egg, crunchy vegetables, coconutty rice, and all that is tied together with that Super deep, spicy, amazing sambal. Nasi lemak, really. One of the must-try dishes here in Southeast Asia. Good-sized platter of food. 350 Singapore dollars, so about a little over $2 US. Really, really good place. Let's finish up and see what else is open. The specialty here is duck noodles. Let's get that. Duck noodle, please. I just want to say, this smells so good. Oh, wow. Wow, this is so very nice. It's so deep and herby. It tastes slightly medicinal. The flavor is so good. Mmm, and the noodles here, some yellow noodles, there's some sprouts, some green slices of duck meat. Mmm, that duck is really, really tender. Even the super lean pieces, that's a very tender duck. The hot sauce is delicious as well. Mmm, mmm, the noodles are so good too. This is a really good combination. The noodles, there's sauce underneath the noodles as well. So every strand is covered in that rich, spicy, umami-filled sauce. And because they're dry noodles, the texture is super springy. Mm. That's so good. Especially when you combine it with the duck dunked into this chili sauce. Everything about this is good. The noodles, the duck, the chili sauce, the soup. And then when your mouth is on fire from the chilies, that's the perfect time to take a sip of this. Mm. I really, really like this broth. I feel like the version they're cooking here is very traditional. It's for people who really like this rustic, earthy type of broth. I think it's awesome. I really like this place. Also, crispy pork skin mixed in as well for additional crunch and additional fatty explosion. Also another benefit of coming early to a hogger center. Not a lot of people, and it's pretty cool outside. Ah, so good. There's a bunch more stalls I wanna try here, but they don't open till about 6 p.m. tonight. So we're gonna go home, do some work, and be back for some more food later. I'm trying to make my way back to the YouTube Food Center. I'm lost. This is the first time I've gotten really lost here in Singapore. I was on the bus that I was supposed to be hitting there. All of a sudden, the bus goes to this bus terminal, and top that off, my phone's out of data. I think I'm close to good to know. Wow, so this Hogger Center is closing for about three months. I thought I was here when it was still open. <laughs> this is uh, such a completely different vibe and scene compared to this morning. Everything is open, everything is hopping, it smells so good here. There's a couple places I really wanted to try. Mm. 
I think it's over there. Oh no, that's the place I wanted to go to, Hong Hong Barbecue. Ah, it's supposed to be open. This is the other place I wanted to go to. Sunwa Fishball Kuei Tail Meat. This place is voted one of the best hawker stalls on the island. I've been wanting to come to this fish ball shop for months. It only opens at 6 p.m. And usually, a lot of times by then, I'm stuffed. But these are some of the biggest fish balls I've ever seen. And there's different options. You get it with a soup noodle. I like dry noodle, whatever they offer it. This looks and smells so scrumptious and vinegary. They're adding a lot of vinegar in here. The soup side, I get a giant bowl of soup, five meatballs, also a fish wonton, a fish dumpling here as well. And for drinks, ugh. Ginormous coconut. This is one of my favorite food centers in all of Singapore. It's one of the first food centers I've ever been to in Singapore. I like how open it is. Basically, everything is outside. Oh my gosh, these meals look awesome. These fish balls, just by squeezing it with the chopsticks, look how bouncy this is. This looks like something you could sit and do sit ups on. Oh, so slippery, too. How I determine how good food is, a lot of times, it just by the feeling you get after that first bite. And this fish ball, one little nibble, you're gonna catch the feels and it will slowly reel you in. Mm, this might be the best fish ball I've ever put in my mouth. This is so uniquely springy and smooth and bouncy and delicate and all encompassingly delicious. Wow, of course, dunk it in some chilies. Mm, that is almost too good. The broth is delicious as well. Very light, delicate meat flavor. I am really excited for this though, look at this. This is a fish dumpling. So the wrapper is made with fish cakes. Inside stuffed with pork. Mm. There's pork in there, there's shrimp in there. That is a must try when you come to Singapore. And I can't believe I only got one of those. If I can before the night is over, I'm going back for more. That's better than the fish ball. Wow, I mean the fish ball is uniquely bouncy and so delicious. Don't get me wrong, I love this, but that was just shake you in your boots, roundhouse to the face, knockout punch kind of good. Noodle is so good as well. Really spicy. I asked for extra spicy. Yeah, this thing is spicy. It's very vinegary. There's also a little bits of crispies in here for some little difference in texture. And every strand of noodle is coated in that umami filled vinegary sauce. Mmm. This is so good. With this delicate light broth. This is such a great combination. The fish ball, the pork, the chewy noodles, the broth. This stall is 100% a must try. There's another barbecue place. Let's try this place out. Haiyan Barbecue. Hello. Hello. How are you? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. This is another classic dish that I've yet to have um, while I was in Singapore. Spicy barbecue stingray. This thing is just covered in chilies and sambal. Squeeze some citrus on that. And look how beautiful the meat is tender white stringy pieces of meat just covered in that chili sauce. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Especially with the citrus giving it some acid. Kind of balance out that rich deep flavor of the sauce. The meat is just absolutely succulent. I mean, it's just so tender. Mm. Every bite. You taste the smokiness. You taste the delicate, sweet flavor of the fish. And of course, that rustic sambal that's on top. Even if you normally don't like fish, I would suggest if you're in Singapore, you gotta try this out. It's such a uniquely delicious dish and no fishiness whatsoever. I smell this half a block away. I 
As soon as she came out of the stall with this thing, I smelled it. Fresh black pepper crab. If you want to try chili crab, black pepper crab in Singapore, of course, the big seafood restaurants, it's going to be good. If you want something just as good with probably a better price point, come to the hawker stalls. Fresh live mud crab cooked to order and then covered in black pepper sauce. Of course, this is the best part of the crab right here. That was a classic bite of Singapore right there. I just love the peppery flavor of this. Mm. Oh, the sauce is so good. Slightly sweet, very smoky, very peppery. This is definitely a seafoody treat tonight. Delicious sambal covered stingray, and then deliciously peppery crab. joints right here. This is my favorite part. The most tender part of the crab. Outside of the guts and the innards where all the crab essence and umami reside, the sweetness of the crab is just indescribable. Of course, dunk it into the delicious sauce. And the sauce here is good. Like I said, extremely peppery, a little sweet, smoky. Oh, so very rustic. Getting a chili crab or black pepper crab here in Singapore, one of the most finger-lickingly good experiences you'll have anywhere. And like I said, if you want to avoid the really high price tags, come to one of these hawker stalls. You won't be disappointed. Plus, when you're in Singapore, if you have the opportunity to support the hawkers, you do it. Coming to hawker centers, eating at hawker stalls, this is a vital part of Singaporean culture. I'm getting this from is called R&B Express. It's a Michelin-rated barbecue chicken wing place. Ooh, that smells so, so good. This is actually 10 chicken wings. They're ginormous because they cut the wings in half for you. Look at this, perfectly charred right off the fire. Chili sauce to dip it in. That's pretty darn good. Mm. Nice and plump and juicy, beautifully charred. You can definitely taste the fire in these wings. Mm. This section is the best one. In my opinion, this section, much tastier than the other one. Also my opinion, much, much better with the chili sauce dipped in. I accidentally got 10 because I thought the minimum you could get was 10, but the 10 minimum is actually just for their skewers, not the wings. But really, no regrets. I will say that the flavor without the hot sauce is a little mild. I mean, you still get that nice smoky sweetness from the saute, but I would definitely recommend incorporating the hot sauce with the chicken wings. I love it when I can see the food come together right in front of me. Giant cast iron pan. It's basically a, a giant omelet scramble and the oysters are added later. Oh, oh wow. I did not expect that. I thought this would just be very scramble eggy. This is not. Mm. Because of the added flour, it tastes almost like an airy, crispy, eggy pancake. That is very good. The texture is amazing. Obviously very eggy. So crispy and flavorful. I'm gonna dunk it in some of that hot sauce. Mm. The hot sauce is a little sour, which definitely helps to cut through the oil. This is an awesome pancake. Oyster is a perfect addition. It adds a soft seafoody flavor to this dish. They give you a lot of oysters here. Actually, I recommend just dunking this onto the dish itself. Mm. The oyster's good, the pancake is superb. Mm. This is definitely an amazing finale. Oh, the cilantro adds such a nice aroma as well. This is very, very good. Last time I had a oyster pancake, it was a Taiwanese oyster pancake. This is nothing like that. Mm. 
very different, very unique. I love this. It's too bad that um, new season is gonna be closed for about three months, but glad I was able to get a meal here before I left. Definitely found a couple of new places I adore, like the fish balls. I wanted to get another order of that after this, but they're closed already. And definitely these oyster pancakes. Oh, and the duck noodles this morning too. Whenever I go to a hogger center, any hogger center in the park, end of the day, I'm full and I'm happy. I'm very happy. This is an awesome place. Of course, as always, all the places I went to was down below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.